right, so today we got an alternator that's not charging on a 7.3 diesel and he has new batteries and he changed them out because the battery light came on uh, which actually should be a charging light so uh, you can get that false misconception that battery light comes on batteries are faulty, let's change them out, actually it's a charging system fault now this one was running at about 11.13 volts, something like that while our uh, engine was running and uh, definitely indicates a charging system fault now one thing if you're going to go ahead and test voltage on these make sure the engine is warmed up a little bit because those glow plugs come on they will suck it down to the 12s no problem so uh, don't get some false readings by just starting it up cold and testing it make sure glow plugs are done cycling so they pull lots of juice so this one is definitely without the glow plugs on running around 11.13 volts it's not right and I'm going to show you how to test it these are very simple and it's a good idea to do a few tests on car before you ever take it off and we're going to go through them right now okay so what you're going to do is you're going to get your multimeter out and put your negative lead here on the actual negative of the battery we're going to turn the key on engine off and then we're going to go over to the big wire which is the actual power output feed and we're going to test that one first and make sure we have an actual path back to the battery that's the most important so you put it on the stud back there we've got 12.28 volts static voltage uh, key on engine off okay we're good there we got a reference for what the actual battery is running at and then what you're going to do is come over to this little connector right here and this is the actual control connector and we got to make sure these both have uh, power coming to the alternator there we go and these ones are very simple they only have two wires in them uh, opposite sides obviously and they should both have 12 volts okay so we're going to do the same thing we're going to test each one of these individually we got the same voltage we were getting before on the big wire so we know we got battery voltage there we're going to do the same thing over here we got 12.20 also so we're good with our inputs now the last thing I check um, is with the connect this back up until it snaps in okay now the last thing I do is I check um, to make sure that we're not charging right here but it's not actually getting to the batteries so I start the engine and then I'll test this stud one more time and make sure it's still the same thing at 12.2 uh, volts because it's not charging because you can't have instances where the wire here has actually got corrosion in it or otherwise and you will have 13.5 volts here but the batteries are only seeing 12.2 or so and then we're going to do a voltage drop test which goes from this positive of the stud here over to the battery positive and this has to be done while it's running so there's a load um, from the accessories uh, putting a strain on the alternator and the alternator has to actually provide current through that positive wire so we're going to go positive with one of your multimeter leads and then we're going to go over here to this positive while the engine's running some kind of load headlights whatever and then we are going to check on our multimeter and make sure it's not more than 0.5 volts now as you can see of course there's no drop right now because there's no amp amperage running through it because nothing's running so this is why you got to do it while the engine's running and there's load uh, on that wire okay first thing running alternator check the voltage 12.2 at the alternator still we know the alternator is definitely faulty now let's do a voltage drop real quick okay we're doing our voltage drop test right now positive to positive and my leads are backwards that's why it says negative but you can see it's well under the 0.5 volt uh, regulation okay so that's about it these are very simple to diagnose they're right on top and I do a few checks like I've shown and a few extra checks like that voltage drop and you can be rest assured your alternator itself internally has failed it's usually the regulator right there the gray part but uh, they come pre-built into it